Welcome to another Arse Trades video. We're going to do a review on this JCB 16C-1. It is a 2021 version. Uh, come over. Come on cameraman, come over here. Um, I'll talk to you about why I bought this machine and all the specs to do with it um, and why I think it's such great value for money. So brand new, these are about 21,000 plus the VAT. Um, and I actually bought this second hand about two months ago now. And I paid £10,500 plus VAT. So it was exactly half price pretty much. Um, I think it's a good digger because for the money, uh, for about ten and a half thousand, you can get a machine for, well I don't know, it's done about 750 hours. It's in pretty good condition, it's not perfect, it's definitely been used as you can see. Um, I'll just quickly show you around all the different features and why I like it. So the hydraulic rams are on the outside of the arms, not on the inside. This makes it great for hire, you know, you don't get people just damaging them by accident. or It's just a really nice compact way of doing it. It's a shame more diggers don't do it in the first place. I was a bit unsure about the JCB, um, but it seems like a really great machine. Um, I usually run Sannies and Sunboards, I've tried Kubotas as well, but an overall package, it's a 1.6 ton machine, um, so it's very small, it's lightweight, so you can get it on a nice small trailer, tow it behind almost any vehicle. Um, that's why I chose this machine. Um, let's just have a little look round. We've got the fuel filler cap here. Um, we've got the access panels around here. Just one thing to note, the catches on these are a little bit fiddly. So if anyone does bump them or run alongside of something, they shouldn't. It often bends these and bends the hinges back over here. So that's one thing to on a machine if you're looking to buy one. If you just come through here, you have the uh, hydraulic filter. We got the oil filter right in there, easy access, along with the dipstick to the right hand side. And then we've also got the filter here under this cap. <coughs> a nice feature of this machine has also got, it's got the battery isolator. So that keeps it safe, you literally can just pull it out now and you just take that with you. This machine actually came with an immobiliser with it. Uh, so you can put that back on. There we are. And also we've got the, um, the water separation here for the fuel. Open that panel. We've got the radiator and the hydraulic gauge through that eyepiece on the side. Just seems really well made and really well thought out. When do you close it then? There we are. Some more nice features in this machine. We've got the expandable tracks. It's about 900 wide and extends out to 1.2 meters wide. And these fold out as well under this mud. We just come through here, run through the machine. This also runs a Perkins engine. It seems very powerful. We've got pilot controls. We've got um, the dual speed, so fast tracking, and it does track very fast compared to other diggers, which I quite like. Um, it doesn't have LEDs, it just seems to have normal lights. I don't really like those, but they do the job. So I'll start this up quickly, but before I do, I'll also mention when you start it up, there is also a safety switch which cuts the hydraulics. So you have to make sure every time you get on and put this lever down, and just press this button <coughs> here, come around with the camera. Every time you have to press that. Bit annoying, but I guess it makes it safe. There's also a light switch, a hydraulic button for the, uh, the pecker. 
and the beacon switch. And a little handy charger to charge your phone. Right, I quickly just start this up, lift up the arm. Starts on the button. machine has been on hire quite a lot recently. The overall consensus is people seem to love them. Um, they seem very powerful for the size, more powerful even than the Kubota that is actual two ton. So that's quite a nice package you have in such a small machine. We better get on to showing you how it digs. We're going to move some mud with it. Um, hopefully you get the idea that it runs really smooth. The pilot controls when you use them are silky smooth, everything's intuitive. Um, the other one annoying thing about the machine is where the position of the key is. It does actually rub against your leg, um, so that's slightly annoying. Um, but I think about I think that's just covered everything really on this machine. So we'll quickly show you a video of it digging. Where is it before? Yeah, all right, okay. Just before I start digging and I show you how good this machine is. Uh, this blade here, when we bought it, when it came off the lorry, we noticed it was actually bent, yeah? We actually thought the uh, the problem was bigger than it was, but it turns out this machine, with a bucket like this with claws, you can actually reach this bucket with it when you're trying to dig and pick stuff up. Um, you catch the lip on the bottom of it, and if you're trying to dig, it will bend it up. It will make it twist. I don't think that's really good enough because I've got cheaper machines from China, like the Rhinoceros, and their blades are much thicker and much better quality. So that is really annoying. But the other thing is, you can also bend it the other way with the machine itself. And that's what we did to fix the problem. So that is something to bear in mind when you see a machine like this and you're wanting a JCB. Right, I'll quickly show you how this digs and how quickly it moves a lot of mud.